go on to the data released over the European session that you were alluding to. Uh, right, well, um, in terms of uh, economic data, one or two pieces that caught our eye. First of all, uh, the German GFK Consumer Confidence Survey um, came out uh, at 10.1. That's banging line with both the forecast and the prior 10.1. So uh, no surprises there. But my takeaway from that is we've been very flat over the last four reads. Um, and so a whole quarter has gone by and consumer confidence has not improved in Germany. It hasn't worsened, mind you. But given that uh, the ECB is looking for uh, you know the recovery of the internal market in uh, Europe to be driven by the consumer, and the German consumer will be at the forefront of that, it's probably not what they want to hear. Uh, neither would they have been uh, been particularly pleased with the French consumer confidence number, uh, which came out today at 93, uh, a forecast of uh, level of 94, and the prior read of 94. So, so, in you know, in comparison to <laughs> to the German uh, number, um, a lower, a lower, a lower number, um, and you know, concern again for uh, for for the ECB what, what's going on. Um, at a level, consumer level in the in the European economy, uh, and to to sort of cement that uh, further, we had Spanish retail sales for June. This is a year-on-year -year read. Uh, they came in at plus 2.3 percent, so they're growing, but that was a third below the uh, forecast number of plus 3.3 percent, and further still away from the prior read of plus 3.4 percent. What's interesting here, and obviously there's a great deal of seasonality in retail sales, is that the January 15 reading of 6.5 percent seems a dim and distant memory. So we peaked in January and we've really been trending lower ever since, though some cause for concern there as well. Um, against that in the UK, consumer credit for June, um, quite a bullish number here, uh, new consumer credit of 1.22 billion in the month of June, ahead of the forecast of 1.1 billion, and again ahead of the prior read of 1.057 billion. Again, though, we're not able in this number to to beat uh, January's uh, bumper read of 1.233 billion. Uh, um, neither, of course, are we anywhere near the uh, the peak of, of north of uh, 2.3 billion in a month in uh, 2008. So some way to go yet before. Well, yes, exactly, yes. Um, no, well, I don't know if that's enough to raise interest rates, the mood, the mood there in the moment, anything is enough to... Well, it's probably, you know, probably another tick in the box as far as the Hawks and the MPC are concerned, but, I, but, uh, but, it, but I'd but but i be more inclined to wait until we're well clear of the January figure myself. But uh, okay. 